This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com What's up people, Dobbs Rules is right here and welcome to the final Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack Ring of the Month. Yes, there's only two Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack Rings today, this month, but do not worry, next month it's going to be freaking huge, I promise you that. But anyhow, we're opening up one of my favourite Battle of Legends boxes. We're opening up the Crystal Revenge. Now, to tell you truthfully people, I had a second boost box of this. I opened it up off camera on release day. Sadly, I don't have the actual footage because I bought, I opened the box up in my actual working business. A place that I actually work in. And there is CCTV of it, but I cannot release it because of the business policy. But I pulled the Starlight Access Code Talker, which is worth £700, people. It was massive. Can I get it to happen again? I got hope so. It'll be freaking insane if that happens, but I really don't think it's going to happen. What am I hoping to pull out of this? I really want my tune cards more than anything. I really do need my tunes because I am trying to build a tune deck and this is the time and the only time I can pull any more tune cards. Mainly Blackluster Soldier, Tune Page Flip. Um, what was the other ones? There's quite a few tune cards in here. Uh, not a lot of them to be honest, but there is quite a few of them. And of course, there is the Egypt, the um, pieces of Exodia that is a Starlight Rare. But I don't think I'm going to pull another Starlight Rare at all, people. It was pure dumb luck. I don't think it's going to happen. We got ourselves a whole boost box of this, people. Five, five cards in the pack, all holographic, four supers. Um, is it four supers or is it two ultras? Four ultras and one secret. I'm 100% sure I'm correct. Yeah, ultra rares, yeah. So each pack has secret rare in it, and every pack has four ultra rares in it. So I'll be sleeping up the secret rares, the ultras I probably won't be until off camera. Let's see what we can do. Let's do this. Wish me luck, people. And we got some and there was also some awesome reprints. Of course there is Crystal Beast in here too. So we've got some black wings. Insect return. Nice, a great star. We got ourselves Chaos Space. Very, one of the most valuable secret rares in the set. Very nice indeed. And of course we're using our Purple Rain, Purple Rain Ultra Post Leaves. Let's go and put them to the side there. Let's have a look. Can we get any cool tunes? If we could get tunes, that'd be absolutely amazing. We got ourselves Odd Eye Seeker. We got um, Amethyst Cat. Denshin Ice, uh, Denshin Dice. Crystal Skull. Nice, we got ourselves Blackbeard, the Plunder Patrol Captain. It's a good, good secret rare right there, people, for your plunders. Plunders are coming back as well in this timeline, as you guys know, because this is being pre-recorded. But a lot, a lot of people really want to play with the uh, Plunder Patrol once again. Thanks to being Blackbeard being a um, finally a reprint. We got ourselves some Earth cards here. We got the Skybolt Star, Break Bolt Star. There we go, here's our first tune. We got ourselves Tune Hyper Lady. Nice indeed. Blackwing. Oh! What a pull! We get ourselves Bower Lord Savage Dragon. A very valuable card in this set. One of the ones that a lot of people do want. The main one that everybody wants, of course, is Access Code Talker. It's a secret, but also a starlight. So if you can get it as a secret, boom, right there, you've got pretty much a lot of money back. And right here, right now, we get ourselves an Ultra Rare DD Crow. Very good card to have. I'm going to put it there, because the ones we definitely do want. We've got Chaos Dralius, Ava Dead Savior, G Golems. The G Golems possibly really good to play with. And Evil Twin Kiski. Nice. First time pulling the um, Evil Twins out of this booster box. That's good. Let's go ahead and sleeve that one up. I'll put these to the side here. Come on, let's see what else can we get. We got Battle of Sleeping Spirits, Blackwing, Gadget Box, and Emerald Tortoise. There we go, we get Tomb Bookmark. There we go. Finally, we got to get we got ourselves another secret tomb card. First one out of the box. That is great. We'll definitely sleep in that one here and put that to the side there. Oh baby, very good indeed. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hello, chicken nugget. Hello, sexy banana. We got Gravity Balance. We got Kasadia, Dream Shark, Blackwing. Nice Royal Street Slasher. 
I think this is my second time pulling this card, and it's actually a really, really good card, but it is a bugger to summon. So possibly won't see a lot, a lot of play in tournaments, but if you guys want to play some like, fun, get yourself doing the um, the Royal Flush deck. As you guys know, King's Knight, Jack's Knight, um, Queen's Knight. DD Quo, very good, our second pull of that. A Ninjutsu Art, Blackwing. Oh, yeah, boy! We get ourselves two page flip secret right there we go! That's both the two cards right there, people. That is fantastic right there. Really, really good. Let's keep this rolling. This is really good, people. Great start. We got ourselves Tank Thunderball. Toon Harpy Lady right there. Very good. We'll put that, we'll put her next to there. Blackwing. And we got ourselves the Find Your Thrunnel. Another G Golem secret. To be honest, I need to research more about these G Golem cards. A lot of people say they are quite good. A lot of them do say they are trash. And they're just filler for this box. Which I could definitely agree with a lot of people, but I need to give it a go. Nice, we got ourselves the um, Seal of Heavenly Spheres. Very good in the meta now. Blackwing, Amazonist Hot Springs. And we got ourselves the Advanced Crystal Beast, Cobalt Eagle. But a good secret like that, to be honest. We got a lot, a lot of the Crystal Beast people, just to let you guys know. We do, we have pulled quite a lot of them in the past, off camera. Because as you guys know, I do open up some packs off camera with some friends and some uh, colleagues at work. So, we do like to see what we can pull. And hey, this is our first one to pull actually. We got Amber Mammoth, the Crystal Beast, the advanced one. Lol, lol. As you guys know, um, in the original um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series, uh, Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth was actually um, the voice actor who tried to be a ripoff of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, it was just literally doing a Terminator I'll be back voice, but it was quite funny. We got one of the, pretty much the boss card of the um, Crystal Beast cards. We got Sapphire Pegasus, the main card of them all. Amber Mammoth, lol. Blackwing, Rainbow Bridge, very good card. Oh, oh, this is the first time pulling it. Number F0 Utopic Draco Future. Ooh, very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. It's a very cool card. No rank on it either, so it's kind of that's definitely a boss card right there. Anyhow, people, what do you guys think of the new camera? To be honest, people, the um, the camera that I'm using right now, people, is actually the same camera that PewDiePie, Markiplier, and all the other big YouTubers are using right now. I got it for my birthday, as you guys know, slash Christmas, so I'm so happy I've got this now. This is the camera that I'll be using in my vlogs. Nice, Chaos Creator. Good card. And look at the gleam with the camera work. That's lovely. So if you guys do like the um, the new camera and everything, please make sure you drop a like on the in the in the description down below. Or tell me what you think about the camera. Do you think it's a good camera, or do you think the other one's better? To be honest, I can see the difference right away from the old camera. The old camera is a, was a bit more pixelated. This one is ten times more crispier. Crystal Heart. And then we got Emerald Tortoise. We now find ourselves a advanced um, um, Deco Talker yet, so that's a little bit worrying. But still, though, we pull ourselves two Tomb Card secrets that we did want, so that is really, really good. We got ourselves Thunderball. All right, Seeker, nice. Fright Fur Patchwork, good card for your Fright Furs, your um, branded cards, very good card. And Edging Chain, right after. And we get ourselves the Ruby Carbuncle Advanced Crystal Beast. Very good card, to be honest. There we go. Next pack. We got Sal's Emblem of the Plunder Patrol. We got Tank, Dream Casadia. We got Dyna Base, and Amber Mammoth. Yow, yow, got to the chopper. To be honest, out of all the Crystal Beast monsters, the, the voice actor for Amber Mammoth is literally the best one. I just like Arnold. I love Terminator. I love Commando, and I do love Jingle All the Way. <laughs> See you later, man. I got the last one. And, oh, Fusion Destiny right there, people. That is a great card. Of course, to get yourself the good old 
Destiny Hero card that everybody freaking hates, Phoenix Enforcer. Whoo, that is a good secret rare right there. Very nice indeed. We got ourselves Cat, Advanced Dark, Black Wings, Cassadia, and Amphis Cat. Not bad card. Oh, that's a dark, dark purple one right there. I like that. That's a nice dark purple. We've only got a few packs left, people. We've got three, seven packs left, people. And we've not pulled a single Access Code Talker or anything else. But we've got Token Collector. That's a good card. Royal Straight, Gravity Balance, Amber Mammoth. And a Blackwing Yayu, the Emblem of Honor. Do you have any honor? Yes, I do have honor. Let me show you it right now. <laughs> if some of you have not heard of that reference, you guys are too, too young for it. <laughs> it's an old, old, old film. Do you have no honor? Yes, I do. Then prove it. Ah! <laughs> Ruby Carbuncle, Crystal Skull, Chaos Valkyrie, Reflecting Doll. Oh, nice. We got ourselves another Golem. Not too bad. I thought that was blue then, I thought that was Access Code Talker, but whatever. To be honest though, do I really need another Access Code Talker? I did pull the Starlight and I also did pull the Secret Rare in the same box, which I still wish I should have had that one opened up on the channel. That would have been so flipping good. We got Raju, the Break Bolt Star, the Sapphire Pegasus, Dragon Nails. Oh, Clockwork Knight! This card is a banger, people. This card can work in so many machine decks, especially Numon Network. This card is gold, people. Probably not as good as for, for Numon Network or anything like that, because of course it is a field spell. But Ancient Gears, the Roys, the Trains, anything like that, it will be banging for it. We've got Base, Dream Shark, Amazonas Hall, Her Call. Another Destiny Fusion! Two for two! That is good! Oh my goodness! Two Destiny Fusions is really good in a box. You're supposed to not really have two of them. You're supposed to only have one. Same thing with Toon Bot Mark and Page Flip. You don't really get what two, more than one out of a box. So, if I do get another one, that would be amazing, people. Fight for Patchwork. Plunders. Heavenly S Signal. The Hall. And another Emerald Tortoise. Okay, looking good people, looking really good, but we've got two packs left people, two packs left. Can we end it off with an absolute banging card, or a Sky Access Code Talker, or even a Toon card? Let's see what we can get. Hot Spring, Patchwork, Crystal Heart, we got ourselves the Manus. Hey, we got Doodle Bee Stego. That's actually not too bad. Stegos are actually going to be um, probably one of the coolest cards in this set. There's only three cards for this um, archetype, but can you please focus? Thank you. So yeah, this card. There's only three cards for this set at the minute. I'm sure there's more out now, but I'm sure it's going to be quite a devastating card later on in the meta. If not, it'd be quite a shame. Final pack of Destiny. Can we get a Starlight, Access Code Talker, or anything else? Odd Eyes. Doll. Doll and... Oh, we got ourselves another Golem. Hey, tell you what though, it's not too bad. I'm not complaining. It is a great box to be honest, people. That was a fantastic booster box, I think. Because you got two DD Crow, two Toon Harpy Ladies, a Page Slip, and a Bookmark. That is actually really good. And for these other secret rares, people, there's some of them are really, really good, to be honest. Um, Stegos are really good in. Fusion, Destiny, Clockwork, Knight is fantastic. Another Destiny Fusion. Of course, the Crystal Beasts are really good. Uh, Utopic is good as well. Uh, Slasher, if you were to go that far. Evil Train as well. But of course, Battle Lord Savage Dragon is good. And Plunder Patrol and Chaos Space. So, then... Them ones here, people, are actually the ones you really do want to get if you are unfortunate. If you are fortunate, of course, the Toon Cards is definitely what you want to get, or Access Code Talker. Either way, people, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Comment down below what you think about the booster box. Do you think it was a good box, or do you think it was a bad box, or do you think it was, uh, was semi-okay? 
Either way, people, make sure make sure you go and check out geekretreat.com. They have amazing products all the time. If you can, if you're into your Pokemon, you're gonna have a better day with Yu-Gi-Oh. You may have a bit of, bit of time to wait with some products. Magic of the Gathering, you've got many products there, and as well, if you're into D D and D, they're very friendly people. Definitely go check them out. With that being said, the people I'm still going to see you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! I tell you what, people. That is a really good box in my eyes. Finally, two tune cards that I really needed. Get in there! I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!